Zorin OS is finally about to release a new version of the popular Ubuntu-based Linux distribution. Zorin OS 17 has been recently released as beta. This is our first look after playing around with the system for several days. Stay tuned! Zorin OS 17 Beta was released approximately a year and eight months after the latest Ubuntu long-term support, which it is based on 22.04, was out. Just to remind you, Zorin OS 16 Beta was released in the middle of April 2021, some 12 months after its base, the Ubuntu 20.04 version was released. The Zorin OS team said they made their next giant leap with the release of the Zorin OS 17 beta. We installed the beta in a virtual machine and obviously the new Zorin still comes with the old version of the Ubuntu installer. It's still in beta though, so there is a chance that this is changed until the official version is released. The installation process itself was still smooth and with no issues whatsoever and it lasted around 9 minutes in total. We've met some familiarity right from the start. The first thing Zorin OS 17 Beta offered us was its welcome tour. It basically helps new users to familiarize themselves with the system. Again. Zorin has shown its cohesiveness one more time. The system automatically recognized that it was installed within a virtual environment and it offered VirtualBox guest additions to be installed. One more time, Zorin OS shows consistency and what we can see is a clean, cohesive and polished final product with a familiar desktop layout that users will know how to use right away. Zorin OS 17 Beta introduces a newer version of the GNOME desktop environment compared to the one Ubuntu 22.04 uses. Here GNOME is version 43 with elements from the 42 series, while it's GNOME 42 in Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. One of the stars of the show in Zorin OS 17 is the start menu, which has been improved compared to the Zorin OS 16 version. Although in beta, Zorin OS has already worked great for us. It has offered updates straight away. By the way, Zorin OS 17 comes with a customized GNOME software app well integrated into the system. It also runs with a newer version of the Linux kernel and its version 6.2 as of the time of recording the video. Now Zorin OS 17 also comes with a bunch of apps pre-installed that make you productive from the start. The apps are divided into categories and there you'll find some of the usual suspects, some of the best and most popular applications in the Linux world, such as Firefox as the default web browser. Last time Firefox had a Zorin's custom start page, but this time around it's the common Firefox home page. LibreOffice is again the default office suite. It's nicely integrated into Zorin OS 17 and it looks really nice here. It's one of the latest versions of LibreOffice. Zorin OS 16 has made both Flatpak and Snap platforms available to users out of the box. However, here in Zorin OS 17 only the Flatpak platform is pre-installed and additionally Firefox web browser is not installed via the official Ubuntu repositories but as a Flatpak app, which means it is sandboxed and will be regularly updated on its own. An application that has received a lot of praise from the community is the Zorin Appearance app. In Zorin OS 17 
it's been considerably improved. Now, Sorin Appearance also comes with options to enable so-called desktop cube, spatial window switcher options and advanced window tiling. You can have icons on the desktop if you wish, and you can change the desktop layouts. Zorin OS 17 also features Wayland, a modern windowing system, and so far the new version of the OS offers a couple of nice desktop backgrounds in beta. All the new features of Zorin OS 17 can be found on their website. However, some members of the Linux community expressed their views on forums that Zorin OS 17 actually did not bring in anything new and that it's only Ubuntu with a customized desktop theme that users could achieve themselves by installing several GNOME extensions. However, that is the point in our view. The Zorin OS team deserves the credit for all the background work on integrating, making the system cohesive and making it look professional out of the box. In our view, it's designed for both new and experienced users, so much so that they don't have to do anything after the installation but concentrate on their work. So, in that respect, the Zorin team is actually doing a great job and they make Zorin OS an excellent and familiar alternative to proprietary operating systems. So, what do you think of the new Zorin OS version? Share your views in the comment section below. If you find the video useful, please give it a like, share it and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done it already. Thank you for watching the video and see you next time.